Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. And look, I think these are buds. This is my ma acanthipium mantinianum natural world. And this is uh, in spike or in bud for the very first time. And I'm so excited to see it. And I'm so happy to see that it's finally in spike or in bud because um, I had this last year it didn't bloom for me so this time I see buds coming up at first I wasn't sure but now I'm certain that it's it's a bud so I put it out in a little bit more uh, light where the morning sun is come up but it's still on my intermediate area so and this is the result of it and look and see there's more growth coming up and that's a potential uh, um, spikes that's gonna come up um, because it's it showed up darker its growth is darker and then yeah and then this one, look, is also my uh, Zygopetalum Davidemello. And it's putting also some buds. So yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with the result. And it just looks beautiful and so exciting. And so this is gonna be how it looks. So this is two weeks after and it's forming more uh, plump on the buds and there's still new growth and um, and look my zygopetalum David Mello finally open yeah, so pretty so she's just next to the plant so I thought I'd share this also with you because it has a lot of blooms also pretty so another week had passed and the buds are getting fuller and it's getting more color which is yellow and the others are starting to open more wider but that's how much uh, yeah open it gets and the color of that red is just different and unique and it, and fragrant so so pretty I just love it so I tried to wait where all of the buds gonna open but it looks like the others are already starting to fade away yeah you see that dark mark on the side there but yeah definitely definitely unique Acantipipium mantianianum, uh, the species called natural world variety because there's different kind of Acantipipium species. And yeah, this is mantianianum natural world and it smelled of jasmine. But you have to put your nose close to it so you can smell it but definitely floral scent very nice it's very mild and um yeah i love to smell it all the time and yeah let's look up the lip it's so so unique that very different and this is endemic to philippines and um this mantian nyanum because there's also picta i think it, it also spread to india i read but i am very lucky to have this orchid um very um uh, not common 
I would say. So that's the only one there that's um, not open yet. And yeah, so so different. Look at that. And by the way, it's it's really thick when you touch it. And so this one flowered. I have a video previously of this, uh, how I repot it and how I take care of it. If you want to check out that video. And yeah, you can just search the name Acanthi Pipium Mantianum. Um, and it will take you there to that site. But yeah. It's um it flowered for me when uh, I put it in a little bit more light because last year I did not it did not flower because it's a little bit farther to the shade so this time I decided to put it in in here where the light is but still getting the shade and cool intermediate uh, environment so to my surprise it flowered for the first time for me and this is it um i didn't even count how many buds to for 10 10 but uh blooms so yeah it's in a terrestrial mix and like i said in that video i i showed how i what i used to repot it but it's basically a terrestrial mix you can probably even use the mix that you use for your symbidium when you because it's also terrestrial but this one i kept it in a intermediate area and um, i keep the medium moist yeah or almost dry so yeah it's been uh, almost a month since it started budding so yeah it's actually more than a month now and it's still um open and blooming in bloom so yeah very different uh it's something that you know you want to add in your collection so pretty and fragrant and it's actually easy to grow yeah. so if you have any questions just uh, feel free to add in the comments i'll try to answer those questions if you have questions and um yeah i just put slow release if you're asking about what fertilizer is just slow release and I actually water, you know, with other all my orchids just like that, you know. I mean if I see it dry then I water it. Yeah. It's when I it's needed. Because sometimes you can tell them the so media is still moist, so yep. Very different yeah it's starting to fade away i thought i'm gonna wait where all of them are open but then the others are already starting to um, have that dark discoloration but yeah something different really it's very different and unique so thank you guys for watching i hope you like this video and please click the thumbs up and if you like um, so you don't miss any videos subscribe and click on the bell so you won't miss any of my videos you know if that might interest you so thank you guys i hope to see you on my next one